hear it is singing bro what is that sound that's what i'm asking i this is third time good morning day 8 of the ride yesterday evening we had an amazing time at the white desert if you haven't checked that out please do check that out so today morning after seeing all the views yesterday we thought we'll catch sunrise today you might be thinking it's season too late for sunrise so apparently here sun rises at 7:30 and we had taken a permit yesterday to enter the white desert so that provision is i mean it is 250 That is on 125 per head. Head. The permission is valid till nine o'clock in the morning today. So we thought, anyways, we'll go there, see the sunrise, maybe have some breakfast, have chai, and then come back. It is damn cold, man. <laughs> It is 13 degrees now. I just checked on the weather app. It's just Bangalore temperature. But for some reason, it feels a lot cold. In the white desert, it is actually warm. I was scared of the cold, and I, I had worn my riding jacket and everything, and I went there. But yesterday evening, after walking a couple of meters, I took four hours and I started sweating. So I was like, okay, today that's not going to happen. So the morning cold, I'll bear. I'll just wear a normal hoodie and track pants, and I'll come off. But <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea. It's freezing already. Twenty <laughs> kilometers, twenty minutes. Let's do this. I don't think much tourists have come to see a sunrise. Look at us! Oh man, my hands are freezing. It is numb. It is numb, numb, numb. Go! This is <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> wow, this is perfect. Wow, beautiful! It's so good. It's already peaceful there, man. <laughs> Sunrise. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Open. My fingers are not working. The golden light from the rising sun, reflecting off the white desert floor, was a spectacular sight to behold. So cold that my bladder is getting filled every five minutes. We thought we'll just go to the white sands once the tourist leaves. <laughs> Yo, bro! <laughs> It's a bit uh, not frozen than yesterday because of the night. No. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday after uh, afternoon ka heat no, uh. everything was watery, watery. Yeah, yesterday the feet, our feet. We are sinking in now, but it is not much. I'm still not able to believe this is not frozen water. Bro, you touched the sea, bro. No, that is water. Correct. Yeah. Huh? Salt water. Yes. Full salt. Yes. But because of the night, the top layer is frozen or not? It is not frozen. It is salt crystallized. Crystallized because of crystallized. the coldness. Not because of the coldness. Because of the concentration of salt. See, if you also go I mean, home, I I know like huh? when you heat all the water, the salt will be crystallized and yeah. stay under. Yeah. But it's like one layer alone frozen underneath water. Yes. Which happens normally in ponds in in winter. No, also. like you have a layer of salt water. Sun comes down. Mm. It the top layer evaporates. Mm. The salt will crystallize. Mm. That will stop it from what like uh, underneath the layers to form. It will take some time now. So that's when you see the top layer crystallized mm. and the bottom layer still water. Here it is singing, bro. What is that sound? That's what I'm asking. I, this is third time. They're testing some bombs, sir, or Zeta. Fifty kilometers from here is the Pakistan border. Turn, <laughs> turn. Here only, bro. Ah, oh, you're. Ah, here only. We spent some time soaking in the morning sun. and the amazing views of the white desert what happened oh plastic no people put so many things everywhere such a nice beautiful place and they ruin it by throwing plastics man see be responsible oh the sound is huge 
so many plastic cap pan spits Ugh. how much and the wheel carry and i don't know how to, how they even get the mind to do it you find a place beautiful leave the place beautiful like why would you have to trash it and leave so apparently the noise you hear i hope this camera has recorded the noise they are disposing of the expired bombs at some place far far, far from here they're disposing both the bombs made by the army and the for firecrackers for huh? army huh? army for army yeah yeah the bombs made for army once they have expired they will burst it and dispose it off safely that's what the police card here said yeah so we believe that should be <laughs> that should be true yeah and look at our bike so sexy yeah nobody around nobody around everybody has left okay time to dispose this plastic when you go visit a place leave that place with nothing but only memories because this white background whatever waste is there it stands out it looks very odd so let me leave poof that is so loud man theek hai <laughs> thank you thank you got an idea of places to visit in and around he is a local guide so he is telling us where to go where where not to go so this direction we can go to lakpat it seems few forts and uh, mandir and all that stuff is there and this is there is a pakistan border check post also and this side is belavira that road to heaven and all that so he is like yeah belavira is on the way to rajasthan so you might as well go visit it on the way itself not no need to go for one step and come back that's a good idea We headed back to the place of stay for lunch, and we decided where to go in the evening. Okay, we have reached. We will freshen up, recharge our batteries, and then head out to Lakhpat or wherever it is that we are planning to head out. Kala Dukkar. That's where we are headed right now. According to Google, it is a it is the highest uh, point in Kutch. It's like a small hill, and you'll get the nice view of the Kutch Lake and all that. Welcome to Kalu Dungar. So many people, man. You plan to go there? We plan to go there. Yeah, we got it. There, jump on it. We're going to go there. Okay. No, 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 Sunset. So this is the Kal Durga, meaning the Black Mountains, the highest point in Kutch district. And you can see the dark Kutch Lake and all the stuff. Actually, this is not worth it. Coming here was not worth it because we came here a long time, long time since that 500 people on top of a small watchtower or a small viewpoint. so crowded tourist season right so many people and then street vendors trying to shout things down our throat forcefully trying to sell things i don't know if there's a good vibe as you can see the horizon is completely covered in mist so we are not able to see not able to see what else is out there You'll go left because road is like this. No, till you go like that, Billy. I'll stay. See. Actually, this is not 
happened this way. This should also go like this way. Yeah, normally gravity should pull it this way, no? Because of the it is slopey like this. I think it's optical illusion. Sometimes magnetic things will affect no. Yeah, but water is not magnetic, no? See, that is still going down. I think it's optical illusion still. But this is a slope. Yeah, yeah I think this is a slope only. But because you are seeing the horizon there, we think it is going down. From Kala Durga, we headed to Ran Utsav venue to do some souvenir shopping and to have dinner. The westward leading road gave us the perfect view of the dusk, which made the ride even more magical. Almost nearly. That is a scary drive, man. So narrow roads. My visor is tinted black. And even with that, it is very difficult to see with even with the fog lamps and the headlight. Oh, luckily, we made it. We made it safe and sound to the venue and started roaming around checking out the different stalls and eateries. And then we came across this. is a tandoori chai one of the best chais that we had in this entire trip they make it by taking out the heated ethan pots from the tandoor and boiling the chai in it it gives the chai a unique and strong earthy flavor Garam tandoor chai hit all the right spots on that cold winter evening in the run of Kutch. We sat there, spent some time and had 200 rupees worth of chai that day. We roamed around some more and bought some souvenirs for the people back at home. The way the whole festival venue was decorated with local themes was very beautiful. With a happy mind and a happy belly, we returned to the place of stay and call it a day. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one where we head to the road to heaven.